Hello, I'm Tabasom. I'm a researcher uh, at Professor Stevens Group uh, here at Imperial, working on developing a diagnostic test for detection of COVID-19. And today I will be taking you with me to our lab to see a day of our lives as researchers trying to tackle COVID-19. morning that we come in to the lab, uh, first we change um, into our PPEs, which is a lab coat, and obviously wearing face masks are compulsory. Um, and then we head down to the lab, which is right there, so I'll take you with me. We are a very multidisciplinary team of chemists, biologists, engineers, and even surgeons in our lab. Um, we tackle problems around the design of materials to help with different kinds of healthcare applications. Uh, but at the moment, uh, we are focusing our work entirely on designing and uh, making a agnostic test for a very early detection of coronavirus. Hi, um, my name is Marta Broto and I'm a postdoctoral researcher in Molly Stevens Group. What we are trying to do with our main project is to develop a point of care diagnostics that for coronavirus that will be fast, cheap and also accurate, that it reports a low number of uh, false uh, positives and, and false negatives. What we have been doing is we assembled a team of 25 people uh, with uh, different expertise, biologists, chemists um, and both uh, students and postdocs and we've been working together to achieve this goal. Hi, so my name is Sara, I'm a first year PhD student and in this project uh, I'm mainly optimizing every single component of the lateral flow immunoassay that we are developing to detect coronavirus. My name is Katja and I'm on the sample team for the COVID project. Um, the purpose of the sample team has been so far to uh, make sure that we know how to process the sample once we receive it from the patients and, and also the important part of our task is to uh, produce mimics of the sample that would then be used to optimise our diagnostic device. Due to coronavirus, a uh, few of our colleagues and team members had to go back to their home countries um, and therefore in order to move the project forward we had uh, weekly virtual meetings where we discussed different uh, results and decided on the future steps of the project. After the meeting it's time for a few more experiments before the day ends. Thank you. 